Supersonic's money transfer is giving you an unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October. Yes! From now till the end of October, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice when you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland with Supersonic's money transfer. Amazing! So from now till the end of October, every time you receive monies in the Gambia from UK, Europe, USA, Canada and Switzerland, you stand a chance of winning a bag of rice. Only 100 bags available, so hurry now and be part of the 100 lucky winners in this special unbeatable bonanza from now until the end of October with Supersonic's money transfer. Enjoy our safe, fast, reliable and convenient money transfer service with the largest payout network in the Gambia with charges starting from zero. Yes! Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. The unbeatable bonanza with Supersonics. To Gambian Talents Promotion. The Gambia's first non-profit online public broadcasting network and home of culture and entertainment. At GTP, we bring you the best of Gambian creativity right to your doorsteps. Sell your products and services to millions of Gambians and friends of the Gambia via our online radio, TV and newspaper. Advertise your business and watch your clientele grow like never before. Our content from the Gambia gets the diaspora hooked up to our screen whilst those in Gambia love what we bring for them from afar. This gives us a unique edge and separates us from the rest. If you want to be heard or seen by the world, contact GCP, we tap, nurture and promote Gambian talents and businesses. Think promotion. Think GTP. For all your event coverages, religious gathering, naming ceremonies, weddings, documentaries, music videos, TV and radio commercial, and more. We also do design and print jobs of all types, logos, business cards, brochures, flyers, t-shirts, coffee mugs, banners, billboards, catalogs, and magazines. We also do lamination and projector rentals. We are the first Gambian non-profit online public broadcasting network with over 300,000 active followers across all social media. Contact GTP on 750-3654-750-3654. Or 794 9214 794 9214 504 593 6215 or email us at gambiantalents at gmail.com. GCP, the people's power. power. Many times people talking about you, but I'm here to love you, not to chug you. So why will you push me away, baby? Is it cause you know I can do without you? Baby, you're mine, oh mine, oh mine, and you will be mine right now and forever. They could say all day while I don't mind. You will be mine right now and forever. I daydream about you. Not only daily basics, I'm tired now. You play me, see the them see far too. What my limo I'm tired of my commander. Musuma buggy cannon, yes, I'm my only one. They put the junk at FM, Binzi, my number one. Jamie. <laughs> this was our. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is seriously, I love this. Like, I, I just wish, like, you know, you can just continue <laughs> one day with this acapella. What's up, guys? I hope you're all doing fine. Uh, okay, this is Government Talents TV, of course, and it's Government Talents Forum. My name is Yusuf, just like you know. And today I'm in the studio with classic and sexy queen, Benzi. So, Benzi, yeah. just tell the fans out there that it's been because, you know, it's been a while now they've been asking for, you know, it's I know, right. I've been in Binda, you know, we need Binda Binda. So, finally, Binda is here and yeah. they are here. So, Hi, hi like guys, hi everybody who's watching uh, Gambia Talent TV, hi to my fans, I say shout out to my family and everybody yeah. out there. It's your girl, Binza the Hip Hop Queen. Yeah. Wow, I love that phrase, you know, the Hip Hop Queen. So finally, 
today, before we go, I promise you all, we will have to know who is the queen of the music in the Ghana. Because, you know, like I told you, over the past week, we have seen, you know, the gum rap king button on Facebook, you know, ST claimed to be the king, you know, Mike Jeter claimed to be the king, YD claimed to be the king, and Masnay claimed to be the king. So, fans even would love to know who is the queen. So, like, Binzi already has already made her proclamation, but we want to know that more, you know. So, Binza, before we just go, you know, for that, just uh, at this point, yeah. what would you want, you know, the society or the world to know about Binza? Uh, like, how? On my music side or my parents? Everything like? inclusive, you know. <laughs> in, uh, just maybe a little bit, what would you just want to, the world to know about Binza? Okay. Because anyway, right now, everybody's watching you, not only the Ghanaians. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. As you already know, Binza, Binza is Binto. I'm Bintu Brahme from Fajikunda. Yeah, I'm an artist, mm -hmm. rap artist, and I'm doing business as I too. Yeah, I'm staying with my family, and I'm single, I don't get married yet, and I'm ready to mingle. Wow, <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> and I guess you guys can just you know, start preparing the application. But it's going to pass through me, Binta, okay? Okay, no problem. I'm your manager on that. All right. So anybody who's interested, <laughs> please. Just link me. So uh, that's very good, Benda. I know you are someone that you know who is so much passionate about your music because I could remember, I recall uh, was it last year when I met you at the album launching at uh, Aries Jar Jar, right? Yeah, Jar Jar. Very good. I love that Jar Jar. You know, the place was just mash up. It was so nice. Yeah. We were there. I was like, wow. I wish you were the gaming music industry can have you know females like. Lindsay, because I understand that you know the industry is kind of male dominated, yeah. but you know, all the years, Alhamdulillah, we have been seeing you know young and you know vibrant, you know, talented and yes. strong, you know, ladies. Imagine one like you. So, uh, we just wanted to know, you know, because I know in every industry we do have a struggle. Sure. So, you've been a female artist, you know, in a male dominated music industry. I know, like, the struggle is very real. Yes. So, what are some of your struggles? It's kind of crazy because since I start, it was so hectic and crazy. Mm -hmm. But I keep the hard walking, keep the faith, and believe in myself. And I know that one day or the other, everything is gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I keep the hard walk. I first release my mixtape, that's Lumi mm Tiagut. -hmm. From there, I release my video, and the, the other year, I release my EP, mm -hmm. and last year, I released the album. So I will go back. I will keep the hard work, keep the faith, and I know one day or the other everything's going to be okay. It's not been easy for us, the female artists, Obviously. because they all concentrate on the male artists, and mm -hmm. it's not it's not fair, because we are trying and we are doing our level best, but let's just keep up the hard work and mm -hmm. keep the faith. Mm -hmm. Everything is going to be okay, inshallah. So, uh, Binta, I know we'll come to that later, Lumit yeah. Yago, uh, because you know, fans have been talking about that, you know, even me, I'm so I, I wanted to know, you know, why first place you just name it. Yeah. I know you must have an inspiration, yeah. but like I said, we will come to that. But as for now, um, I could recall last year I hosted one female artist, uh, his name is um, Lizzie the Hardest. Okay. So Lizzie was able to open up and you know, she shared you know, some part of her story that you know, she was uh, twice abused you know, through her music because she wanted to do something, you know, so like and she was told before she could even have that, you know, yeah. she has to, you know, sleep it. The guy, mm -hmm. so you know, um, I know that it is happening in the Ghana and it is happening globally but because you, you know to. that is the situation. So, has Binzi came across any story like that? Has any child abuse or take advantage of you because you know you are desperately looking for something and you know they think you know the only way for you to get it is to maybe date with them or sleep with them? Have you yeah, passed I do that? pass through, through that, but I, 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 I keep the faith and I, I'm a strong woman, she cannot like tell me I have to have from you before you give it me back. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. If you want to help me, just help me as a brother or a sister. I'm not going to give my body for anything because I'm doing music. I'm mm -hmm. doing music and I love music. That's why I'm doing it. Because I promise my dad that I will never sell my body to anybody because of music or I smoke weed or I drink alcohol because that's why he didn't allow me to do music. Oh, okay. But I promise him that I will never do that kind of stuff. I passed through like just last my last album. Okay. I, I approached yeah, one yeah, guy. Yeah, okay. I approached one guy. I will not say the name, okay. and people know him very well. You can uh, no. mention the name because no. you know sometimes like it's good. I would you always do. Uh, oh, do I would. <laughs> oh, no, I would. It's all right. I'll oh, just tell you. I won't tell you. I will tell you later. <laughs> okay. I would mention right. the name, mm -hmm. but like I approached him for him to help me, but he said okay, no problem. So I went to his office. We. Uh, um, he invited me to his office, mm -hmm. so after from there he told me, okay, later I will call you to come for what I have to give you, but we have to meet somewhere. 
I told him, okay, no problem. No problem. So we went and went to his house. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to do something silly. I told him that if you want to help me, just help me from mm -hmm. for a sister to a exactly. brother. I'm not going to sell my body for money, never. Because I respect myself and mm -hmm. I'm so proud of myself. He said, okay, that it seems like you don't want me to help you. I told him, fine then. I can get it even without you, inshallah. So him, him, him said himself, like call me back to apologize because he said, that, he did, yes, because he said that I made it, mm -hmm. I made it bef without him, because he came to my show even at the uh, at Alliance. Okay. So I want to tell my female Alice that not to not to be hypnotized. Because when 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 niya kalos and boha fighter, when niya kalos and boha fighter, then believe send boha and you go send boha without anybody that go make. Just try and make music boha and people will love it. Work hard, believe in yourself. So for America, you know, don't say something. Uh, a lot of people would argue with that, you know, what difference would it make, you know? You are in the industry, after all, you know, like females are, you know, some people to accuse that, you know, females are full of, you know, sleeping with their managers, you know, with their fans. So what difference would it make, you know, if you really need something? I mean, you can just go and, you know, sleep or have fun with a guy and just have what you want. Some people will argue with that. What would you say to that? Some people will argue, I don't understand what you're saying. Like some would say like it wouldn't make any difference. If someone wanted to sleep with you in order yeah. to give you something, it's fine. I mean, just chill and go and have fun. Maybe it's their yeah, uh, way, way of taking it. Mm -hmm. I better like go and sell either pepper at the market or I buy perfume mm -hmm. to sell it to people to earn money from there and pay for my studio or pay for what I need to pay than giving my body for money. He doesn't tell them. You're a public figure. And tomorrow you want the youth to look after you. So you have to give an example for the youth. Sure. Yeah. So um, do you at all have any regrets? Sometimes maybe you can just sit and say, ah, it's very stressful and you know, going up and down, you know, people going to abuse you here and there. So do you at any point in your life, you know, have that regret, you know, why did I even venture into music? If I know that, you know, this is what I'm going to make on my way. I do. I do every time. Seriously? Yeah, when I pass through difficulties, I do. I, I regret being an artist. And I was not even ready to be an artist. Uh, one guy introduced me in this music. His name is Jay Knight. He's in Sweden now. So I just went to the studio for the first time I recorded, and bam, people appreciate what I did. So I said, okay, let me concentrate. But my family were supporting, but my dad was an activist. Yes, he said, I'm not going to be an artist. But still, sir. He said that I'm going to be an artist, but I <laughs> must make him proud out mm -hmm. of this music, inshallah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, sometimes I understand that, like you said, your father, your, your father is against you. Yeah. Maybe sometimes, yes. even if you have to accept because, you know, he has no choice. But, you know, the friends might be, ah, you're not going to allow you to do that. So, you know, sometimes, you know, even if daddies won't agree, yeah. they couldn't agree because, not because they don't want to, it's because of the society. I know, right? I know. So, do you sometimes have the challenge, maybe like daddies or mommies from be teasing your mom, you know, yeah. Saddam Holland? Yeah, he used to tell my mom, you look at Bintu, look at Bintu, you know he called me Bintu. Bintu. Look at Bintu, the way he dressed, look, the way she dressed, sorry. Look at Bintu, the way she cut her hair. This is not good for a lady. She had to get married, stuff like that. You know that is, they like talking know. unnecessary. But I just want you to <laughs> believe that without anything, even when I wear this jean bat, if I want to do bad outside, I can do it. Cutting my hair doesn't mean that I'm a bad guy. Mm -hmm. No, I did it because it's my slogan and I love it. Mm -hmm. And uh, your hair, I must admit that it's looking very nice and sexy. But a lot of people will say that, you know, for like, they will judge you wrong. Yeah. So they will judge what you wrong. would you tell to those people who will just look and say, then they say prostitute or look at <laughs> she, you know, she's People used to say that though. You, do, do you I had it, yeah. I just 10 times, yeah. Do you respond directly? Don't judge uh, somebody mm -hmm. by looking. Mm -hmm. I can, as I just tell you, I can dress chill bad whole way, and I go outside, I do my thing and come back, mm -hmm. and I can be like this and be the most good girl in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Don't don't judge people by dressing or by looking. It's not good. It's not good. So, but you never confronted them, you know, like you know, I'm like, like, you know, I'm too classic for that. Oh, yeah. I will never do that. Seriously, I 
I'm too classic for that, you know. Just to remind the viewers that you're still watching Gambian Talents TV, and this is Gambian Talents Forum. Mm -hmm. And in this big forum today, we have the classic queen, sexy busy. So, uh, Binti, like I said, you know, you mentioned uh, one of your songs, which is, you know, like even me, like it really touched me you know, so, uh, in, in some way. Because, like they said, you know, as an artist, even you don't take it from your own inspiration, but you yeah. know, look at your people, you know, relate them, be part of their story. So, you know, uh, your music, which is um, Jar Jar, you know, yeah. like I said, it has gained a lot of momentum. So, you know, people are talking about it, like, what really inspired you? Like, how does that everything come about? Lumiti Yago. Lumiti Yago or Jar Jar? No, Lumiti Yago. Lumiti Yago. Lumiti Yago, it's in all of life. Anything that you see in life, mm -hmm. it must come an end. Today it might be hard, but tomorrow. Yeah. Well, a lot of people are saying, you know, like Lumiti Yago is from yeah. your own story. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if that's how it is, or people are just speculating. Yeah, I pass through about Lumiti Yago. Okay. Lumiti Yago, it's the way I pass through in my music career. Because oh, okay. the time I start started doing music, people used to tell me, Binzi, you can sing. Binzi, stop doing music and stuff. But I keep the hard work, Push and it. I didn't listen to anybody mm -hmm. till I reach here today. So, um, Binzi, recently we have seen, you know, the gun music industry, how fast it is, you know, growing yeah. compared to other titles. So, you personally, what's your take? Do you think it's going or it's standing or it's going back? Gun music, music is changing. Seriously. Because all, like, talk less of those days, mm -hmm. when you organize a show, you just have 15 or 20 people okay. turn out to support, but now yeah. fans support. So, it's left to the artists to work hard. Why do give the fans what they want? Why do you think you know the sudden change? You know, like you said, that time if you organize it, so like we've all witnessed that you know yeah. it will not even go up to half. But like you said now, place will just like mash up. So why do you think that sudden change? Maybe because it's those days artists the way they used to see <laughs> Nineteenth <laughs> century artists. Yes. Maybe. And things are changing and we're mm -hmm. we're in the modern world. So yeah. people are changing fashion, mm -hmm. the way we do our music mm -hmm. and you're giving the the music that farms one. Mm -hmm. So Gambian music is changing since I yeah. So, uh, Binzi, before we just proceed, I wanted to, like I said, uh, Lumit Yagot, I'm still coming back to it. <laughs> if you can just perhaps give us some acapella so you can remind us, you know. I forgot that song, though. Like, seriously, no, no, you, you, it's, you won't do that. It's ages, though. You are, so you won't do that. I think Lumit Yagot, why do you get a meeting now? And then you might put it when it means in the ex in mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I forgot the release. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I but I love that it's been like you know, you, 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 four years now. Yeah. But I love the little that you can remember, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Binzi, like I said, you know, um, the gun music industry, you know, like I've seen recently, a lot of people claiming, let's say, let's look at the male aspect, yeah. you know, ST is claiming to be the king, mm -hmm. my dear is claiming to be the king, Some, um, the serious my snake is claiming to be the king, and recently, you know, why is claiming to be the king? He's even saying that let all of them, you know, shut up. You know, yeah, oh, okay. yeah, on his Facebook post. So yeah. it's ah. him. So, like I said, there have been a lot of proclamation. So, who do you think that you personally? Who do you think is the king? No, is the I don't have that. I don't. And don't tell me you don't have it because I know you I must be having to. someone in your mind. Let me let me tell you. Like my Jada claimed to be a king, be the king first time. I've never had all those ads telling that I'm a king. I'm a king. Like, Everybody can be a king be for his own kingdom. We even uh, seen my snake's uh, picture yeah. where he was sitting. In I know my snake. You know, my Jada said he's down. So yeah, he used to claim to be a king. Mm -hmm. But everybody can be a king on their own kingdom. On their own kingdom. Even you, you're a king. Oh, like seriously. Yes, everybody is a king or queen. Mm -hmm. I can be the queen of my own kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, Gambia, they're fond of like, they don't raise a name mm -hmm. to their self until they have somebody telling them, I'm the king or I'm the queen. Mm -hmm. They start challenging you. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's funny though. Okay. This music industry is too tight. Mm -hmm. We are not even just halfway. Yeah. Senegal is far away from Gambian music. Yeah, but you so, know, at, at, at some point, like you said, we all can be king or queen until it is, irrespective. Yeah, and they're yeah, but kingdom. irrespective, uh, irrespective of that, I, I believe you know we we will have you know the ultimate king. Exactly. Let's say uh, Senegal, for instance, who is the king of Mala? I don't know. Is it? Yeah. So we are the queen of Mala. So we are. So who is the king of here in the Gambia? That's what we are talking about. I don't know. Here. Okay, like. Okay, who do you think? They all do it good. Should, okay. Let me tell you, they're okay. all doing good. Yeah. And they're all like a brother to me. Because they've been nice to me and stuff. But I expect now... If you now, are giving a crown right now, to, now uh, to, to crown them, yes, who will you crown? Except now, like, 
who is the great king and who is doing the good music and stuff, mm -hmm. I can give it to both of them. And that's Jesus and Esty, because okay. they're doing great. Okay. And we so all they're see that they're the hard working. Yeah, they're, they're doing great. Mm -hmm. Let's not be jealous or okay. just be like selfish. So it, it means, you know, the rest that I know. They're all doing great. Yeah, they're all doing great. They're all doing great. They're all doing great. But the hard work right now, mm -hmm. I give it to both of them. So you crown STN. Yes, they're, they're wow. doing great. Okay. So let's come to the female aspect now, because like you said earlier on, yes. Queen Lindsay. Yes. So we want to know who is the queen, because I you know, like I said, there have been a lot of speculation from the fans. I am the queen. And I know that no you know. No doubt about it. And I know that you know. Even I follow you on Facebook, you know, yeah. I know you too close to Sophia. She's and I know she's you call her. She is exactly. Do you have any relation with her, like blood relation? Sophia, we met. We met. Uh, like. Three years back to four years. That was open mic in 2017. Oh, okay. Open mic made me to get close to Sophia. Oh, okay. We were we know each other. We used to be hi hi. Mm -hmm. How are you? Okay. But we were not that close. But open mic made me to meet Sophia and get close to her. Mm -hmm. And she is the real girl I've ever met. How do you feel, you know, when people compare you and Sophia? Because I remember uh, prior to my comment, I just yeah. put it on my statement that, you know, I'm um, uh, hosting Queen Lindsay. Someone was like, Koko Munodar, Sophia Moko I prefer being there just to, just to create that conversation. Yeah, you understand exactly. what I mean? Yeah. Because I wanted to know, like, what she's thinking. Okay. No, 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 I love Sophia, you know, Sophia, she's the queen. I said, like, seriously? Then you find out today. Me and, and I know, you, and I know you, you hear yeah. it when it's, people it's, compare it's you. It's normal to compare with my sister, though. So Cause it, my sister, it doesn't create any like. It, no, she's she's a diva, and we are not doing the same genre. She does that's all I'm doing hip hop. Hip hop. We're not in the same genre of music. Okay. Sophia, she is good, mm -hmm. and I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying hi to her. I know she will <laughs> watch it. I know. Yeah, she's good and she's doing great. I'm so proud of her. And Sophia, is, she's so real. So uh, what gives you that special connection between you and Sophia and not what I recommend female artists like yeah, let's say Lady J, Jobs, uh, Jobs, Jobs. Jobs. Kalajula, exactly, and uh, the other one, Lady Sess. Queen Zipaya, yes, Sess Mom, yeah. We're all, I'm close to them. Because people all are saying, them. people are saying the reason why uh, Binsa and Sophia get too close is because you guys share like your lifestyle is all the same, you know. You that's guys, what they say. Yeah, that's what people say. Why people so, are joining us for is no that reason? They don't even know us. Seriously? They don't even know us. People like talking about us. You guys got that. They don't even know us. Because of you seeing our haircuts and mm -hmm. the way they dress and stuff, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean that we are bad. Mm -hmm. Whatever, I don't give a uh, uh, oh. Let them say whatever they say. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's just okay. Anyways, we're just doing music and music is in us. Mm -hmm. And we don't care what people think about us. And uh, people also say that uh, Binti and Sophia, the reason, like another reason why they get into close is because you know both of them in love to display their incredible figures, which is not that they are only seeing it like on stage. You know, it's normal when you're an artist, mm -hmm. you don't expect me to be an artist. But first, uh, before you come to that, I personally wanted to ask you this, Binti, why are you too sexy? Why? <laughs> ask God. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm gonna ask you, Benzi, why? I go, ah, you are a woman. You have to love yourself. You have to look good mm -hmm. always. And you have to feel proud of who you are. You have to feel confident. I don't care about what people think about me. All I know is it's, I'm a proud woman and I'm, I'm so confident in my body. Yeah. So, contrary to what people are saying, is it true that you know, Binzi say. went to do some kind of surgery to look that, that surgery, like seriously, people talk figure. about that. So, <laughs> I wanted to know, Binzi, do you really have you really done that? That's funny though. <laughs> <laughs> oh and if yes, I've which never, country? I've which country do you do? I don't even know. Ask them. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a surgery. I do go to gym every freaking okay, day. Okay, you do go to gym every freaking day. I go to gym. I find time to go to exercise. I go to the field and run from there. I go to the gym straight. I'm an artist. You don't expect me to leave my body like that, mm -hmm. no. So if you go to gym, like, what are your tips? What do you do there? Perhaps, you know, maybe uh, people who are aspiring to become Binza who wanted to have this incredible Arabics. ego, who wanted to, who wanted to, like, what's your secret? I do Arabics. Okay. And I'm fond, fond of drinking lime and tea. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm fond of drinking lime and tea every, every time. 
whatever I eat, I bring my bante, whatever I eat. Because you know our family, we are in a family that we mm -hmm. have a huge body. Mm -hmm. So when oh, I okay. relax, like, I will make something else. Okay. So that's why I, I always go to the gym and you maintain know. what I eat and I know what I do mm -hmm. with my body. So that's it. Okay. I've never done a surgery. Surgery for what? I'm proud of my body. Why will I do a surgery? You had it from her. No surgery. Just to remind you all that you're still watching Gamen Talents TV and this is Gamen Talents Forum. My guest tonight is mm -hmm. Binzi. You just had a you know, the queen of hip hop. So, uh, Binzi, still uh, coming to your music. We want to know, like, uh, since you started music, after you know, how many songs, how many albums have you know you gone to all together? Okay, I started music since 2011. Wow, 2011. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I dropped my first song was So Break. So break. That's the la bead of Abba. Two baby Abba. Abba Abba take a cap. So break. That was my first song. So break. Yeah, so break. From okay. there I dropped Boom Seda. And then I work on my mixtape. Mm -hmm. From my mixtape I drop another song. And from my mixtape I straight go to my EP. From EP I drop two videos. Okay. And then my album. Which and I'm about to drop another song with our Gambia. Which is the Jar Jar. Yeah, okay. album is Jar Jar. And okay. I'm about to drop another song with our Gambia. Okay, our Gambia. Yeah, our Gambia. Okay. Yeah, and it's about this woman, Gambian woman life matter. Oh, okay. Yes. The mortality, yeah. And, yeah, it's very devastating. Yeah. Okay. I'm about to drop a song with her, and I know it will have a video to okay. it. So, guys, watch out for it. Okay. So, uh, we wanted to know, you know, your Jar Jar, like I said, it was. I'm someone that you know who love to talk about people's story behind the story. I always wanted to know because I know people that are watching, maybe one or two of them might also want to know. So okay. why the jar jar? Jar jar is what, what I passed through. Okay. Just like the Okay, it's jar. kinda like a Do you know all my all my all my uh, name of my mixtape, E P and album, it's all about my life and okay, what people like are passing through. Story. Yeah. Because my E P name is Lair C B Lindem. Yeah, light in the dark. And I came ac came across like Jar Jar too on my album. Jar Jar is what I passed through. As I told you, I passed through so many many difficulties, many things, yeah, you did that. which other person, if somebody, so if, if a female artist passed through on that show, they would just keep music. Yeah, it would have been a different story. But my, I have a strong heart. I don't give up in life. No. This music is so crazy and mm -hmm. just I, I don't even know how to how to say it. That that's why I came a, uh, came up with that name Jaja. Jaja. Ja. And can you give us some you know lyrics, some lyrics you know Jaja? Ja. I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't I didn't uh record Tell us it, ja, ja. you for yeah you didn't record it then no. Uh, what song? I just named the Jaja, ja, but but the Jaja ja song it's in the album. Yeah. I just have small small. Would talk about my 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 music and what I passed through yeah. and everything. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's very good. Uh, then maybe we can uh, move on to the next phase. Yeah. So we wanted to know what is a uh, upcoming project because I know like this is twenty twenty mm -hmm. Corona. It's been very tough moment. Yeah. You know, not yeah. just for artists but you know for every other industry. So I know like you guys inside your little kingdoms and queendoms. You know probably you know. Uh, preparing so I know. Went in, what are you cooking Binda? Yeah, as I told you right away, mm -hmm. like right now, sorry, I'm about to drop some with our Gambia. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and from there I will drop either three or two songs for this twenty twenty. Okay. And next year I will work another album but I will not drop it. Okay. I will just work on it. Keep it till twenty twenty one. But I will be working, I'll be dropping singles, visual that videos and everything. Okay. And I'll do in collab with other artists. Other artists as well. Okay, uh, we have learned that uh, was it last year you uh, traveled with um, uh, our, bling. our bling to Senegal, yeah. right? For a festival. Yeah. So, what's all that festival all about? It's about uh, Gab, uh, Senegal Music Festival, yeah. their festival that okay. they so pass they, through, they, all the music, uh, 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 hip hop artists pass through there. So how was the reception in Senegal? Because often people will say, you know, if the men artists go to Senegal, they don't welcome them, they are not valued. So we wanted to know that from your own mouth. How do you feel? Not true. They welcome us nice, they take care of us, and they appreciate what they see, what 
and we give them nice performance mm -hmm. at, the, at the stage, on stage and they yeah. appreciate our performance we kill it so how was that that, that you know ambience and the reaction from the crowd you know we feel so stage. good and so proud of ourselves okay. yeah because the, the 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 crowd were so going crazy you know I know you know how i do my things i don't play with especially now when busy yeah. starting to display the incredible exactly. sexy I, don't play, I don't play with my music <laughs> i know uh -huh. keep it real <laughs> yeah yeah so how has been you know 2020 like the self-quarantine in october i know right now things are a bit easy it's so crazy. how have you been you know managing it's crazy though you know being staying at home always is crazy as for me i Does don't stay at home impact on you? i would not like i don't stay at home okay. i just i do like go to my friend's house and it's sophia okay as people used to tell me you i don't i don't trust you and sophia i hope you guys are not lesbians okay, i don't say you guys are not lesbians <laughs> they used to say lesbians i know no, we are not we don't do girl thingy mm -hmm. no <laughs> I know, like you said, people will just uh, speculate. Yeah. Yeah. People like thinking about people's life. I don't care about what people think. Mm -hmm. I do what I feel like doing. Yeah. yeah. That's me. Uh, it's very good. Uh, like I said, um, this is uh, the ending phase of our show, I know. But like you said, recently there are a lot of things that are happening in our country right mm -hmm. now, you know, from politics, you know, from health. So the recent happening recently we have seen you know the government draft constitution something that you know governments have been yearning for governments have been longing for for change mm -hmm. it's uh, recently been rejected which has of course you know created a lot of uh, noise from within outside the uh, government people mm -hmm. so what's been the special take on the rejection of the draft constitution about because this as an artist about what about what the draft constitution <laughs> because i know you're an artist you have a voice people are looking at you so what's your special message on that yes about what what uh, recently women are going through this labor thing we will come to that yeah but about now, about the about government the draft constitution. about the changes yes no no no, no not the changes <laughs> about, about about our constitution okay you know like we made a new constitution which is recently been pushed to the national assembly but you know the parliamentarians rejected it but I don't do politics, that's the issue. That's what every artist said. But Nencho <laughs> said every artist is a politician. I don't do politics. I don't vote. even concentrate about politics. That's don't the issue. Vote, I, I, I do vote. Good. I do vote. That gives you every right to have a voice. I don't, I don't do politics like my oh, Come on, Benzi. Come I on, Queenie. I'm just trying to tell you what I am. I don't do politics. That's the issue. Yeah, but since you vote. But I'm the voice of people. Like That's when, what I'm asking you. Yes. What, because you those, those people are depending on you, right? They want to hear yeah, probably what will Binta said on the draft constitution. So, what's your take Me, on when it? I have to talk about, I have to, I, I will talk about our own side, the artists, because they are not supporting us when it comes to the government. Like the government is not supporting You know, recently, like it's coronavirus. And yeah, you sure. know that artists do work on shows, mm -hmm. and there is no shows going on right now. Yeah. Senegal, they are paying their artists in this corona. Why is it that the government is not paying that? Why? It's too and recently I've seen in South Africa, you know, the yeah. artist, which is the musician, you know, the artist, they came together to demonstrate, you know, mm -hmm. because they said, you know, the industry is really going down. Where they do have money now, it's no more happening. That's what's so, happening here. I don't know, at the level of government artists, what That's what's happening do? here. We don't have, we don't earn anything because there is no show. Mm -hmm. We have money from shows. Shows, exactly. And you're going to keep people in their houses and you don't know how they're feeding. So Some people do feed hand to mouth. Mm -hmm. When you don't go to work, you can feed your family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's just crazy. Uh, uh, I have also seen, you know, within this pandemic, you know, a lot of artists who have decided to go virtual, you know, means at your house, do you know, some live streaming, yeah. people, just maybe to um, raise some money or some yeah. awareness. So have you tried that? No, I've right. never done that. Right. <laughs> Not him. Come on, you could have at least go oh. virtual. Maybe that would have you know given the fans and artists you know some. What I did is just go on my Instagram page, okay. talk to my fans because I know that they miss me, yeah. and I'm giving update about my music and stuff. That's mm -hmm. all I did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So what's your take on the Gambian uh, mortality rate? We have seen in the, for the past few uh, months, you know, the death rate is just going high and high. Recently, we have seen, you know, two groups, you know, to demonstrate about it, to show to government that, you know, they are not happy with it, they are not satisfied with it. You know, like you said, you are the voice of the people, and, you know, a lot of ladies out there, they are dying. So Everything what will be your this message? Thing, eh? Exactly. What will, what will be your special message to the women and to the health personnel down there? Let the government concentrate on our health. Let them give us good nurses, good mm -hmm. doctors, like materials, so 
uh, end of in mm -hmm. our hospital. It's crazy. You've been carrying your baby for nine months, and one day you just panic. Just to lose your baby for yes. more than nine minutes. It's just crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they have to concentrate on our uh, health side, seriously. Because okay. I'm a woman, and I might mm -hmm. get married one day, mm -hmm. and no one knows what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. So it's just sad. Wow, we stress up. So, um, guys, I know we don't have uh, much time left, but before we go, uh, Bente, you mentioned earlier on that you were single and ready to mingle. <laughs> so, so yo, you were both really exactly. So, but uh, a, a lot of people would argue that you know, uh -huh. looking at Bente, you know, how beautiful, you know, like I don't want a strong guy. Uh, like seriously, I don't okay. want a broke okay. ass guy. <laughs> okay, okay, now Bente, we wanted to know what is your taste. I want a cool what guy. What kind of guy do you want to you know? I want a guy, cool, cool guy, who will understand me, who will understand that I'm doing music and you have to support what I'm doing. You have to value me, mm -hmm. be proud of me, mm -hmm. like show me love and caring and take care of me. Yeah. Okay. So, when are you ready to get married? Because I know that you won't tell me that, you know, no one has ever come, you know, say, I know you yeah, must have that. Maybe like it's a matter of you don't see your choice. I do. So please tell us a bit that we want to yeah, like people who come like the mum they say we mm -hmm. can talk, sorry to say. Some guy will say the malataka. So that's what I can you like taka. Stuff like that. They will say everything. But they will not do it. Mm -hmm. But I want somebody uh, but who's you, real. You never know, you never know. I know. I passed through so many things about that. Have but you gone through like any uh, heartbroken proposal? Maybe someone of proposed to you and I'm going to marry you, but at the end of the day you don't see anything. I did, like, 110 times. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm mad bad. I'm just joking. Okay, um, I just passed through. I passed through about it, okay. but it was okay. Maybe I'll have one Okay. Yeah. But a lot of people do think that they would say, you know, like, in Gambia and uh, let, let, let me let me do move Gambia, maybe like, artists in general, you know, they, the marriage doesn't last long. That's not true. Why is it that? I'm a woman. I'm a Muslim.